couples, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full review on this month's BoxyCharm for April. Now you guys said that you love my layover and actually trying out the products instead of just doing like a first impression and a try on right then and there. So I decided I'm gonna keep doing that. If you like to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it because it is free, 99. You can be a part of the Fine Apple Tribe. Also, don't forget to click that bell. Okay guys, so now let's address the elephant in the room. Like, I got all these balls hanging off my ears. So if you guys are new to my channel, I am just a lover of black Tahitian pearls. I always wear the same earrings. I always wear the same necklace. I don't right now because my eczema is kind of flaring up right now. Black pearl bracelets. I don't know. I'm just a pearl lover. I'm not a diamond lover, even though I love my wedding ring. But I just love Tahitian pearls. So I decided I would switch it up. Let's try something new because I've been playing with so much color on my channel. And I'm like, you know what? It's about time that I start venturing out a little bit more and not being so, like, comfortable. Let's get out of our comfort zone you know okay let's get on to the video last month it was like a, uh, it was like a half and half like I liked half the box and the other half I was like Pfft. with subscriptions I always say it's always hit or miss you know you may love everything you may not like everything but it's really fun trying out new things trying out new brands this time we got a little flap that unfolds into like a little long poster so I can just see each item easily first item I'm going to show you is the main item that I think is in the box and this is a color pop palette now I will say we did receive what I personally received I think everybody received it wait what do what <laughs> sorry I totally just was like right now I had a little bit of coffee and I'm not like the biggest coffee drinker so now when I have caffeine I'm like woo 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 but I'm pretty sure everybody gets a palette not necessarily maybe the same one or whatever but I know most of the products are the same probably in different colors but if you did everybody I think supposedly got the one palette and it's the BoxyCharm by Pure and that palette was pretty good I know some people don't like it some people did I happen to really like my palette I can make it work so now we got another palette but it doesn't really bother me because I'm someone where I always love palettes and I'll continuously buy them even though I don't need any more freaking eyeshadows. I'm sure you can agree with me where you're like, I don't need any shadows. I haven't hit pan on anything though. I don't really mind getting palettes because I don't feel guilty because I love collecting them. Plus ColourPop is a really cool affordable brand and I am a fan of them. It says you had me at Hello. It says hello, but I usually say hello. And I actually just was on the Victoria's Secret website a couple days ago and I saw some panties and they said, you had me at Aloha. Okay, that has nothing to do with the palette. Why am I talking about bunties? These are the shades. The first time I opened up this palette, I was very like, mm, it's all right. I don't know, I felt like very underwhelmed. And then once I started playing with the palette and looking at the shades and once I swatched them all to really see the full color scheme, because lately I've been doing that, I'll swatch everything because I feel like shadows sometimes can look very boring and very basic in the pan. And then once you swatch them, you're like, yes, whoa! I figured out that that's how I am right now with my palettes. Instead of just staring at them like, I've been swatching them on my hand and it just really works out. So now let's go over the look that I filmed today, which I am currently wearing. Now dealing with the mattes, I absolutely love the warm tones in this palette. I thought they blended beautifully. They were super smooth. They were easy to work with. I didn't get any weird patchiness or chalkiness. It didn't feel like it was really dry. They're really nice, silky, smooth shadows. Then when I moved on to the shimmers, I will say that the shimmers were absolutely beautiful when they were swatched. They looked a little bit like whatever in the pan and once I swatched these babies they looked gorgeous with the shimmer shades I got a little bit of fallout I mean I feel like that always happens with whenever I use shimmer shades but it wasn't like a crazy amount but it was like a typical amount I guess you can say the quality wise is better than last month's with um, the collaboration with pure color pop is a little bit easier to blend oh and this palette retails for $18 whenever you get the box it retails for a full amount we'll go over that at the end next up we're gonna go over a face product that I received and this is the dr. Brandt pores no more vacuum cleaner now it's so crazy that we got this in the box because I was thinking is this girl psychic or what's going on one of you commented on the one video not last month but I think the month before where they sent us the dr. Brandt the illumination primer hold on this one right here because we did receive a full-size primer and I believe this was like 30 something dollars something like that and I used way too much I will admit it because everybody was like girl you put on way too much I ended up keeping it because once you use very little a little goes a long way and it ended up working for me 
Thank you guys because I didn't even realize how much I was really putting on. And then when I showed that primer, one of you commented how you absolutely love the vacuum cleaner mask and it was so weird because now I got it two boxes after. I'm like, what? Like this, this is the one that they commented on because I read your comments and I saw it. I was so excited to use this. This one retails for $47. This is crazy. It says it's an award-winning porefining mask. It's an extraction specialist unclogging and tightening the look of pores and reducing excess oil from the skin surface. I am so happy that I got this because let's go over the product really quick. At first when you open it up and you see the consistency of it, it kind of looks like a lotion and then you see these little blue beads in there. Once I started applying it on my face, I, I'm not like the biggest fan of the scent itself, but then after it like goes away and then once you start rubbing the product into your face, I'm like rubbing the product into the face. Little beads will start bursting, you'll get like a little tint of blue and then afterwards you'll see the tint after the mask starts to set and then after once I ended up washing it off all you have to do is just leave it on for five to ten minutes I believe yes five to ten minutes and I've already used this twice within the week and I absolutely love this thing once I rinse it for my face I was really scared it was gonna be like because this is geared towards sucking everything out it's called vacuum cleaner and I'm thinking oh my gosh is it gonna strip my skin I do have combination skin I'm normal all around and I'm back to oily in the t-zone the first time I was like whoa this is like so clean it felt so good and it was weird because my skin literally felt like it got vacuumed all the residual that I thought I did get out really got out after using this and then when I used it a second time oh my gosh it was just as good it is not too harsh I definitely feel a cooling sensation it is just the most amazing mask I am really into skincare I'm very picky on my masks I am very picky on what I use on my face and this I plan on repurchasing once this baby is out. Oh my gosh, you literally feel so clean. So on to the next product, I have the Tardis Pro Glow. Now I've never tried this product ever before and I'm really familiar with Tarte products and for some reason I've never heard of this. I have tried their Glow Palette, like their Pro Glow Palette. This retails for $29 and for this little baby, baby, baby tube, I think that this is very just highly priced just because it's so tiny and for it being a liquid illuminator I find that so many other brands have huge bottles of liquid illuminator or tubes and they're much cheaper. Creamy highlighter that builds from sheer to intense ultra concentrated pigments and pearls so maybe that's why they don't you know give so much product because it's so highly concentrated but I'll show you the application. I was testing it out when on wet so I would I kept trying this out by putting this illuminator on top of my foundation not when it was already set just because I wanted to see if it was going to melt with my foundation and usually you can get a more natural just really airbrush glow when you do that when you do wet on wet and then when I kind of looked at it I was like okay it's all right it's not really my favorite I did try it with a sponge and also my fingers and I will say fingers won every single time because then I wanted to try it over my powder as well when I tried it the first time I only tried it with a sponge and I had to literally just wipe it away it looked so clumpy and looked really weird and then when I went ahead and you know set my face again and I used it with my fingers then it blends out really beautiful as well so Finger is the number one tool if you're going to be using this specific highlighter, but I find it kind of weird that it wasn't working with my sponge when I put it on top of my foundation when it wasn't set. So this product ended up being really nice like with my finger because I'm currently wearing it right now. See how seamless it looks? but with the fingers. So I don't know what it is with the sponge. It just doesn't work well with it. All in all, I think the product is really good. I just find that $29 is just really expensive. So this definitely is a good thing to have in the box so that you could you don't have to go ahead and like spend that coin on this product right here. But I mean, it's good, but I, I definitely wouldn't say like go out and buy it because it's so small, but look, it looks really pretty. So it's like a, it's a love hate kind of thing. And I hate saying the word hate. Okay, next product up we have is a brow set. So we got a product from the brow gap. This is for, by Tanya Crooks and this retails for 22 bucks. So there's microfibers in this one and the shade that I got was Brown Hair 02. I really appreciate the small brush in this. The first time when I used it, I tried it without no brow product, no nothing. I just 
brush this through my brows. I didn't end up filming it. I totally forgot. Sorry, but it looked okay. It gave some definition, but I'm someone where I still have some sparse areas in the front. So it always looks funky when I do that. I feel that it's really not like waxy, but it's definitely a strong hold. It builds my brows with the fibers and you can give a super fluffy effect, but my brows don't feel really crispy. I will say I do feel product in them, but it's just because it has such a good hold. So if you're someone where you have really unruly brow hair, and they just will not stick. This is a good one. Feels like a hair gel in this brow product. I feel a little product in my hair. So if you need something really strong, I highly recommend this stuff. I mean, I think it's good. I've tried out a brow pencil and a brow set from her a couple years ago, and I thought it was good, you know? I mean, I usually aim towards drugstore anyhow, but this one definitely was a win, and I'm excited to have it, and I will continue to use it. Now for my last product in the box was this liquid lipstick, and this is from the brand Adesse. Adesi, New York. I want to say I got this brand in Ipsy. Let me do a little swatch right here. So this is a liquid lipstick, okay? When you see it go on, like it's not a liquid lipstick. See how it's very glossy? And it seem look at that. So I thought that was kind of weird how they were calling it a liquid lipstick because you can see the shine in that. It has a little bit of stickiness. When you first apply it, that's when you're gonna really feel the major stickiness of it. And then once I went about my day and I was just going on, the consistency became way more comfortable. At first, I did not like it at all. I was like, why is this a liquid lipstick? So this feels like a really pigmented gloss. And even right now, like once I apply it, I'm like, man, I really don't like the beginning phase of it but then it gets really comfortable. It, you still get a stickiness, but that's really gonna help with the longevity of the liquid lipstick itself. This one is in the shade, what is this? Just says high definition liquid lipstick. Oh, and no shade. Why does this have a shade on here? It doesn't say the shade on here either, but this does retail for $24. Do I feel like it's worth $24? Mm, not necessarily. Do I think like maybe 15? Yeah, I could go for 15. I mean, I think it's really cool to get in the box. This is definitely not a color that I personally would like go out and buy, but now that I have it on, I think it looks great with my skin tone. This is another thing too, is like with subscription boxes, like it gets you out of your comfort zone just to try new things. And I absolutely love this color. Like I said, I would go for a way more peachy nudier look and this looks great so it's teaching me hey jump out your box try different things and I ended up really liking it uh, I mean if you if you want to sort of the 24 bucks I think it is a beautiful color I think it lasts really long I just find that since I don't really know this brand that's why I'm saying that where do they carry this brand this is another brand I'm not really familiar with totally forgot to mention that on the front of the card are these beautiful girls right here and I will say I am very happy to see some new different faces than the usual faces that you constantly see. Like I am so sick of seeing the same damn people for the same campaigns, the same brands and all of that. When I get things for like say Sally Beauty because I'm part of collab makeup or I got the campaign with Gliss and now I'm on the commercial and people have been seeing my coupon, I feel very proud and very happy that I was given a chance and I think that's amazing that these girls got a chance as well. Hopefully they'll have their handles. I hope you guys can see it, sorry, because of the lighting, but I'm sure they'll have their information on their boxes charm website as well because I'm pretty sure they collaborated because it says their favorites so I want to say congratulations to them because I had no idea who they are and there's so many people on YouTube well I don't know if they're on YouTube or if they're bloggers but I'm sure they're I'm pretty sure they're youtubers and Instagrammers but I think that's cool that other people are getting a chance that is it for the video. I will leave a link down below if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to it. I will say that this month's box was probably my favorite. I loved everything. I thought it was amazing. The only thing I kind of had difficulty was with the the TARDIS one, I just feel like you don't have to go out and go get it, but it was cool we got it in our box and I figured out a way to use it all on the finger. And yeah, this month definitely blew me away. I'm super excited for next month. I can't wait. And yeah, I'm really excited that I got the mask like so excited. I can't believe it. I was like, whoa, that subscriber just knew. All right, my pineapples, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up and I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Mwah. Woo -woo. Here we go. It's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe.